Hi, I'm Dan and welcome to Universe Garage. If you're new here, welcome. Returning, thanks for coming back. Today, I'm gonna to be doing something that I've never done before. I'm gonna be doing this picture right here out of a six part stencil that I cut on a Cricut. Now this video isn't about how to cut stencils or templates on a Cricut. I have other videos for that on the channel. If you like, go check them out. But it is about how to make a more of a 3D rendered portrait with stencils and the only way to do that would be with layering stencils this particular stencil set i went out online and got this particular picture on etsy for three dollars three dollars i'll say that again what a bargain because in order for you to go into your cricut and scan a photo like this in and try to erase everything out and make a six-part stencil would just take you days weeks just who knows even if i didn't even think it was possible but I went online, $3 from Etsy. I'll pop a link down below where I got this from. Got the download, brought it in. It was absolutely beautiful. All six of them came in as a JPEG, put them into the machine, cut them out, as you'll see in a minute. So if this is something you're interested in, please stick around. Consider subscribing. Hit that bell so you get future notifications. Check out all those Amazon affiliate links down below. A couple comments, good or bad, really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. It helps this channel grow. We're growing every day and I really appreciate it. Thumbs up would be great. That really helps out too. And with that, let's get started. All right, so this is a six part stencil that I cut out with a Cricut. You can see I have them all labeled one through six. As you can see the detail as I work towards six, it's less and less, but it is amazing the amount of detail and the intricate detail that a machine like a Cricut will cut out. So we have the positive and we have the negative templates for each, and I have them labeled. So I can match the negatives back with the positives. All right, so I'm going to be starting off with the positive stencil, but I placed it with the negative stencil first. So you put the negative stencil up and then place the positive stencil in to line yourself up. So I'm going to be using Wicked Sepia and a little bit of black. So I'm going to have a little bit of black in the one airbrush and straight sepia in the other. And I'm using the 4011 reducer by Createx as well, about 10 to 20% reducer or as much as you need to get it to flow. All right, as you can see, my magnets are strong enough to go right through the aluminum panel to the steel panel I have behind it. So it works out really nice. It holds the stencils really good. Now I'm also gonna be using a stick because I have a lot of little areas here where I can't get magnets on. And the other important thing is to make sure that you're spraying at a 90 degree angle because it's going to be blowing up the stencil, especially with all of the thorns or, you know, if you have places where you can't put the, the magnets, you want to make sure that you're not spraying underneath the stencil. And I'm using my little mixing stick here to hold down the areas where I couldn't get with the magnets. Now I'm just using straight CP here to start with. and I'm just misting it in. Now, the tendency here is to want to go too heavy. You really don't want to go too heavy. You're going to be building this up over six layers, so keep your layers relatively light. Now I'm adding a little bit of the Wicked Black. I have Detail Black here. And I'm just gonna put a couple drops in. Just to darken that color up. So now I'm gonna put in where the darkest tones are. And again, I'm looking at my reference photo very closely. You wanna make sure that your reference photo is right where you can see it at all times. 
so you can follow the reference photo. Did forget to mention that they have little registration marks on most of them it's on each corner and this first one is only one
All right, well, there you have it. Never did anything like that before. Like I said, the result came out really cool. You can see it right here. As I said before, I'm going to be taking this portrait to another level by employing a lot of the uh, techniques that I know of to make a more realistic portrait. But for those of you who just want to stick to, you know, doing some stencil work, this is a way to take that, you know, flat 2D look into a more 3D look by using a layered stencil. So the end result, as far as I'm concerned, looked really cool for what it is, a stenciled type of look. So with that, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. You know the drill. Thumbs up would be great. A couple comments, good or bad. Check out those links down below. We'll see you in the next video.